Okay, let's go ahead and create a new site and we're going to use the public marketplace to create our site. And if we scroll down here, we can see the Gatsby Starter Lumen blog for Crafter CMS. Uh, the Create Site dialog box is going to prompt us for a name. We'll use Lumen blog. So now we've entered that, we can click review. Everything looks good here. So let's click create site. And then Crafter is going to go ahead and clone that site from the marketplace, put it into our instance. Now the site's up, we can see a preview here, uh, and our uh, blog runs in uh, Gatsby, which is, is really run by Node.js. So we're going to jump over to the sandbox here, you can see the path, and we're going to first build that site and then start the server. So we're going to go into the sources directory, and we're going to run npm build. And all of these instructions are on that initial landing page. So go ahead and run npm build, and then we're going to let that complete. Okay, now that that's complete, we're going to start the Gatsby server, and you can copy the command here from the initial page in your site. So we're back to the command line in the same directory, and run that Gatsby server. You notice that the command line actually includes the site ID. That's how Gatsby knows where to get its GraphQL endpoint. And now that we have that, uh, that's running on port 8000. Here you can see we're going to test port 8000. It looks like the server is up and running. Now we want to make it editable and previewable through Crafter CMS. So we're going to go to site config and then configuration and then environment configuration and change our preview server port from 8080 the default to 8000 and save that. And then we're going to go back and we're going to look at our home page. So go to pages and then home. And you can see here now we're seeing a live preview. And we can also turn on in context editing. So turn on the pencils here. If I want to change the word nine to the number nine in the title, just find that field and change it. You can see some of the other content model uh, fields here as well. Let's go ahead and click save. And then we'll see our live uh, updates in preview take place. We also uh, can hover over any other editable field. Uh, you can see the information architecture here. And then we make it pretty simple to create new posts and, and pages with the Quick Create menu. All right, you can see it's pretty simple to get started with Gatsby and Crafter CMS through the marketplace. So go ahead and give it a shot.